Next is question number 14. Asked about the product of these reactions. Which of these will produce aromatic product? And it seems that all of these are producing aromatic products. So let us examine one by one. A option ke agar aap baat kare, you are treating it with HBr with it. HBr will produce H plus and Br minus. So this H plus will go to OH. You will have OH2 plus. Now it will be your leaving group. So we will take the electron pair element go out. You will have a positive charge with the three membered ring. Now this is aromatic. And the product will be in this form. So it is aromatic. Option A is qualified. For B option if you will analyze. Cl treated with Lewis acid as we Cl5. It is a Lewis acid. Lewis acid will accept the electron pair from chlorine. Will go out from this place forming SbCl6 minus. These two will exist in the ionic linkage, ionic association and this is aromatic species. So, B is also qualified. For C, if you will analyze unsaturated ketone it is, when it is provided H plus, the site of protonation if you will suppose, because of the resonance, O is having negative charge. So, if H plus is provided to this site, you will find this site as aromatic site. So, ring is aromatic again. So, C is also qualified. Last option D is a four membered ring with three CH2OH. If it is treated with H plus and heat, OH minus will accept the H plus, H2O will go out, this ring will Require a positive charge on this carbon, ring expansion will take place, and this will be converted into a compound you suppose with 2 CH2OH and a pi bond. In turn, further if it is treated with H plus and heat, OH will accept the H plus, H2O will go out, H2O ke yaan se bar jane par carbon par plus aayega, ring expand karenge. Ring expansion ke baad positive charge ko gaddi aap elimination de rahe hain to it will produce a compound which is having CH2OH and two pi bonds are in conjugation. Further if you will heat it, OH will go out, positive charge will come, will shift to this place, yaha positive aayega, yaha methyl aayega. You will have an intermediate like this, which will be further undergo elimination and it will produce toluene as major product, which is also aromatic. And hence, D option is also qualified. Thus, we can claim the answer for this question is A as well as B as well as C as well as D. Next is a paragraph. Paragraph for question number 19 and 20. So, let us discuss paragraph in detail first. If you are considering the uh, reaction sequence, A is given as 3 degree alkyl halide for C4H9 Cl. Not difficult if you analyze all the four structures for C4H9Cl. C4H9Cl has possibilities of these four structures. And it is very easy to identify the reactant at A because it is given 3 degree Rx. And 3 degree is the only one. 
So we claim this is A and if you identify A, reaction becomes very easy. A is treated with two different reagents, one with alcoholic KOH. What it is? It is a reagent for elimination, E2 mechanism. E2 mechanism hoga is compound per OH minus yahan se H ko hataayega, bond niche shift karenge aur CL yahan se bahar chala jayega. This is the transition state of E2 which will produce CH3, CH3 double bond CH2 as C. Aqueous KOH is mentioned, polar solvent, 3 degree alkyl light will go unimolecular reaction, B is a different than uh, C, so B ko aap consider kar sakte hai, alcohol. This is your B product. B went treated with sodium metal. Sodium metal produces one electron and this electron will take up this H from there, will produce O minus Na plus plus half H2 released and this O minus Na plus is your reactant. E. E ke saath agar aap reaction kara rahe hain, ETX. So this is Williamson's ether synthesis. Williamson ether synthesis. This O minus will attack on ET and will expel the X minus out. Mechanism is SN2 for this, and your product is. Me3CO ET. This is your F. On C, a reaction given is addition of nitrosyl chloride NOCl. NOCl per agar aap alkene se attack karayen, this site will attack Me2C CH2 N per. O minus O Cl dono lagen, ek non-classical cation type species banega, Me2C, CH2, N double bond O, yaha par plus aega, and you have Cl minus out. That Cl minus will attack on the more stable cation, Me2C per Cl, CH2, N double bond this is your D. Now, reaction sequence ko agar completely aapne solve kar liya hai, then you will see about question number 19. State away structures are given. So, answer for 19 becomes D. D ko identify karna hai, ye aap state away dekh sakte hai, B R hai. And answer for 20th question, F ko identify karna hai, it is very easy to identify F from the reaction sequence, ether it is, so given is D option, so for 19 it is B and for 20 it is D.